Right, large data set. Whether you love it or hate it, well, it's here it's, um, for the moment. And, uh, you know, it's not worth loads of marks and you can answer a lot of it without ever even looking at the large data set, even though it, it will help to have studied it. So we've got these different local authorities and we're looking at how people, how um, traveling changed between 2001 and 2011. So the first question is what type of local authority are the largest increases of people traveling by underground metro, light rail or tram taking place? So let's underline, um, what should I look at? Maybe I'll focus on underground. Okay, it's just this column here. So we can see it's increased here and here and here a little bit on this one, but those are the, the largest. And what we see is that they are related to the E08 ones. It didn't happen for Newcastle or Gateshead, but the other three it did. So, you know, that is the that is the largest increases. And so it's going to be metropolitan boroughs because that's our 08. Identify two main changes in the pattern of travel to work in the Northeast region between 2001 and 2011. Um, and significant changes throughout, I'd say. Well, actually, there's quite a lot. There's buses. They're all going down. There's driving a car, which are all going up, except Newcastle. And there's passengers in a car or van, which are also all going down. Whereas when you look at on foot, some go up and some go down. Um, underground does as well. Working from home does as well. So I'd say like these three are the ones that jump out. They're the, they're the ones that I went with. So. Um, what did I write? A higher proportion of dri now driving a car. You need to be careful and say proportion rather than number because we don't actually have any information on how the population has changed. And then a smaller proportion of passengers in cars. Just to show you, the mark scheme also reflects what I've written. So an increase in most local authorities and percentage driving. Yeah, I probably should have pointed out that actually Newcastle went down. Um, decrease everywhere in percentage passengers and decrease in percentage bus and metro. All right, last two parts. So we're making some assumptions, the data refer to residents in the given local authorities who are in the age range 20 to 65. And uh, the number of people in this age range who move into or out or who die are negligible. So basically we have the same number of 20 to 65 year olds in 2001 and in 2011. So part C, estimate the percentage of the people in the age range 20 to 65 in 2011 whose data appears in both 2001 and 2011. Now, when I first looked at this, I thought, oh, it's going to be the same, isn't it? It's like, like, you know, no one's died or anything, but then I've remembered, of course, people are actually changing age. Kind of missed that one when I first did it. So we've got in 2001, we've got these people who are from 20 to 65. However, when we get to 2011, they are going to be 10 years older each of them. So the people who were 20 are now going to be 30 and the people who were seven, uh, 65 are now going to be 75. And so what we have, if I got this cut off at 65, is that none of these are going to be in the sample anymore. So when it says the percentage of people whose data appear in both, well, now I've got an age range of 35. And originally I had an age range of 45. So it's going to be essentially 35 
over 45 is going to be my fraction of people that are in both. So I'm just going to write this as a percentage. 7 over 9, 77.7%, .7%, which is about, now when I did it, I actually rounded it to 80%, but the mark scheme wanted it to be about 78%. So let's go with that. Try and be as accurate as we can. We've made certain assumptions. It's not going to be true because, you know, obviously some people will have moved out and so on, but I suppose we're saying it's, it's so small compared to the whole population. And then um, in light of our answer, suggest a reason for the change in the pattern of travel to work in the Northeast region between 2001 and 2011. For some reason, this stumped me a little bit. I, you know, I actually just moved on and then I, I checked the answers, but it does make sense. You know, remember, it's basically we've just got people being replaced. The, you know, these people that were 65 are now no longer being, um, they're no longer in the survey. So they are going to do things less, whereas people that have come up, it's going to be this group that have come up that were 10 years old, 15 years old and so on. They're going to have potentially different habits. So essentially older people have been replaced by younger people. And what were the older people doing? Well, what's gone down? Things like the buses have gone down. And things like driving a car has gone up. So older people who used public transport, uh, the trains as well. Or walked. Have been replaced by younger people who drive. Okay, as always, I, I kind of find these some of the trickiest questions. I mean, you know, you have to just, but it's important. It's like interpreting data that you're given. That's what stats is all about in some sense. Um, but trying to write good wordy answers to these things can, can be a bit tricky. But there we have it. Well done.